The typical storm chase is not the action-packed visual masterpiece it is often portrayed as in, in films and on TV. It is often a slow, methodical experience where you may only see one or two interesting phenomena. Whether that be some great storm structure, epic lightning, or maybe if you're lucky, a tornado. However, on exceptionally rare occasions, reality can mimic fantasy and deliver a truly amazing spectacle. This is the story of May 26, 2021, The Perfect Chase. Wednesday, May 26th. Today we were chasing a moderate risk with a 15% chance of significant tornadoes. Um, I haven't checked yet, but I'm sure that there's a PDS tornado warn, uh, sorry, tornado watch out. Um, I actually uh, was contacted by Billy of the channel More Pie. He needs some assistance uh, retrieving a lost drone from the Selden tornado a couple days ago, so we're going to help him out with that if we can. But um, the cell definitely looks interesting right ahead of me. It fired up early. We'll see how it, how it goes. Pretty soon, I had visual on the storm's base and could tell something special was happening. On the other side of this beast, my friend Chris had a much better view. Pretty phenomenal structure on this elevated supercell. We're actually right next to where the Selden tornado passed through a couple days ago. We're gonna meet Billy here from More Pie in just a second. And it didn't take long for him to meet us at the crash site. While we all began to search for any sign of the drone, we were treated to a truly otherworldly display as aliens seemed to invade the Kansas prairies. Despite our best efforts, we were unable to find any sign of the drone. However, it was now time to make a decision on where we would chase for the day. Two primary target areas became apparent, one in west central Kansas along the dry line, and another along an advancing warm front to the north that was lifting into Nebraska. To make things even more complicated, the forecast models were having a very difficult time with the environment on this day, and had no consistency among each other or from run to run. So where would you chase? Would you go with the crowd and join the vast majority of chasers on the southern target, or take a chance and choose the northern one? I ultimately chose to trust my gut and stay north and target storms that were likely to form a little earlier in the day along the warm front, where I thought the environment would be more favorable for supercells and tornadoes. After discussing it with Chris and Billy, we all came to the same conclusion and started to head north. Pretty much as soon as we left Selden, storms were beginning to erupt along the warm front, including a well-developed supercell near Benkelman, Nebraska that started to produce tornadoes. As we raced north to catch it, another storm erupted just to our west near the town of Hernan, Kansas. We've got a really good looking storm base over here, but we're targeting a cell to the north that has a little bit more pronounced couplet and hook, but I don't know, this storm looks really good. It's hard to pass up on this. Although I was initially skeptical of the Herndon storm due to it being interfered with by a left split, we all decided to gamble and break off from a storm that had already produced tornadoes to chase this new one that was rapidly developing to our west. As we turned around, the storm was already beginning to produce a tornado.
As we closed the distance, we couldn't believe what we saw when we came over the top of the hill. Positioned in front of the storm, we had front row seats to one of nature's most spectacular displays, a cyclic supercell. While one tornado was dying, another began to form closer to us. Where is he? There might even be two new ones forming. There might be two tornadoes forming. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude. If it wasn't including and broken out, yes. Look at the structure too. There might even be two new ones forming. There might be two tornadoes forming. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude. Once the right died out, main circulation is the, the one on the left. While we were trying to take cover from the large hail that was falling, another tornado developed. After marveling another brief tornado, the Herndon supercell began to get choked off by a cell firing to its south. Remember, this is what the first one looked like right before it dropped too, so... Yeah. Yeah, right. You think so? While several rotating storms attempted to develop, nothing else seemed like it was going to tornado. So after getting ourselves out of a little trouble, we got to enjoy Mother Nature's grand finale. In a quarter mile. That's crazy. Wow, that's, uh, I can't say I've seen a rainbow more interesting than this with sky and casting shadows on it. I thought I was done for, man. I thought that was it. But somehow we got it out. A little bit of a, da you know, a little damage. Bumpers kind of separating a little bit. You know, that's all right. We're good. <laughs>